Hello, ladies and gentlemen, my name is Putty and welcome, welcome, welcome to MAW, Mid-Atlantic Wrestling. This is FanFest Monthly, this is probably the only one I'm going to show us booking. A couple of people are working elsewhere tonight, but that's fine, I probably wouldn't have used them anyway. Um, there's also a couple of things I need to talk about. First of all, Casey Glenn and Greg Gage got offers from a Japanese company, and I cannot tell for the life of me whether they're touring contracts or written contracts. So we could be losing two of our, my favorite guys, which would be very sad. And if we do, that'll probably affect the other decision I need to talk about, which is I have noticed that the owner position at uh, Eternal, oh no, Original Lucha Libre is Eternal, uh, Oli, is available. They're a fellow member of the uh, alliance we're in, Federation of the Territories, and they have a TV show, but they're also a regional company. They're kind of like ROH, just in Mexico. It looks kind of cool, and I've never I've never done that before. It'll be a lot different to MAW, where I know a lot about what I'm doing. Um, we can hire in some of the guys from here, which are luchadors, but probably not a lot of them. Uh, and it'll be interesting to see. I might give it a go. Uh, if if Casey Glenn and Greg Gage leave them, I probably will because that's just the, Casey Glenn's my guy. I I wish I you know in in future saves I might even pick him as my guy because I just love Casey Glenn. So tonight for an hour we're in uh, we're gonna go to the Great Lakes, please, please. So as you can see in the Great Lakes we are going to attract forty six fans. So we're in the Ohio Jewish Center, which holds 300 fans. The aim is to get to the point where we're filling up this arena. If we can do that, then it's a successful endeavor, because that's when we're making a little bit of money on the event. Otherwise, it's probably going to be a loss leader for the company. But, luckily, because we're up in, uh, in sponsorship from region to, uh, Rising to Regional, we made 23 grand profit la last month, so we have room to maneuver. So, we're going to put on a main event that's going to do better than five. Hmm, what to put on? Uh, definitely Steve Flash. There's no enhancement talent at the company right now, so Copperhead. Steve Flash versus Copperhead. Give it six minutes, sure. In fact, no, give it ten minutes. And have Steve Flash go over. Open, scripted, decisive. I don't really want to make Steve Flash go all out. And we will throw a few of the the not so experienced tag teams on this show as well. So wait a minute, the Lost Cause seems like a good one to do it with. I don't want to put them against the Enforcers because we've done that recently. Twin Billing, the Lost Cause versus Twin Billing. Obviously, obviously, I don't even know who goes over here. Uh, probably Lost Cause. Keith Vegas over the dead in the water, George Wolf. Hey, he put on a C match last time round. So I shouldn't insult him so much. And then probably two more matches, and then we'll chuck a couple of angles in. So, excluding booked, we've got Nate DeMarcus versus The Architect. Sounds good to me. Architect goes over. Six minutes. Architect goes over. Open, scripted, decisive. There you go. And then we will add one more match into the mix. Todd Gorman needs somebody to fight. So, I think Dean Waldorf. Oh, actually, did we do this last episode? I think we did. No, we did more of last episode. You got another chance at fighting one of the ring generals, Todd. Let's see how you see how we pull this one off. Come on, I know you can do it, Todd. You just got to pull a D minus. That's all you got to do. All right, there you go. That's the show. It looks great, doesn't it, guys? It looks absolutely and utterly fantastic. Is Cammy even here? He is actually. Sure, we'll we'll do good angles on this show. We probably should actually. Um, we probably sh this isn't actually going to do as well as I think it is because we're not in the Mid Atlantic. Um, we should actually put a few people that we're not entirely sure uh, are great promos on this show. Because they can develop. Uh, it doesn't really matter who Robbie cuts a promo on. Casey, oh, Casey's not here. Um, Miller. <laughs> I don't really care. I probably should have just done a self-promotion hype angle. There you go. Put Fro on the show if he's here. I don't think he is, actually. No, don't run the show. Is Fro here tonight? He actually is. Well, while he's here, I might as well put him on to see how he does. 
in somewhere he's not known as well. Although he's pretty well known everywhere. He's not ma magnificently well known, but he's pretty well known. So let's see how Fro can... If Fro can pull a, a C- minus on four minutes worth of promo, I, I will be very impressed. 50 minutes? Uh, I guess I want the hour, so we'll throw a Findlay or Faraday menace promo out there on Hollywood. And look, as Hollywood probably gets pissed if he doesn't get on shows like this. I'm probably going to put a Hollywood response to that promo. Because Hollywood is a dick, so he will complain about anything and everything. Oh! Uh oh, we've we've now got too little match. Uh, too yeah, we've now got too many angles, which is perfectly reasonable. Any shitty people we haven't used? Nope. So we will just use Nigel versus Cameron. Perfect. Perfect. They've had matches before. They were decent. We'll put them on again. And this time, Nigel goes over. You guys can trade wins all night. I will. I would keep. I would watch this match. All night long. There you go. That's a show for you. 68 minutes. Throw it on. This is what this is how I'm going to be booking it every week, by the way. That's not bad. That is. But, like I said, we don't care. Alright, then. Yep. Okay, I think this is the ring general fight. It is. I think... Why? Oh, Todd Gorman, you, you passed the test. Well done, my man. You're going to be a jobber. Congratulations and welcome to the team. Nice, Fro. Nice. This is a decent match for what it was. Yay! There you go. That's all we wanted. Is a D. Literally, that's all I wanted. Um, tough Fro, Hollywood, and Steve. Told they're awesome and given a hug and given some encouragement. There you go. That's literally all, all that uh, FanFest Monthly is going to be, if we continue with MAW, which we might not be able to. Uh, well, we might not want to. Because, yeah, that's all I want FanFest Monthly to actually be. Uh, is just something to raise the popularity slightly in the Great Lakes. Just up by one. That's all it's, it's going to be. It's all I want it to be. So, yeah, that's all we're doing. Until we get to, I mean, roughly 20, which is when we start putting on decent shows over there. Even then, it's going to be a lot of development. Because, as you, who did we have Steve Flash work with? I think it was Copperhead, wasn't it? One sec, who did you work with on that show? Yeah, it was Copperhead. Like, we're using it as a development as well. Because Copperhead usually wouldn't get the opportunity to wrestle Steve Flash. So, having him do that, he's improved in basics. He's improved. He has improved in psychology. But he's improved in consistency. He improved in selling. Uh, you know, he improved in a lot of things. And that's a whole point from one match. You know, a lot of people working with the main eventers would be a good idea. And it's usually something they wouldn't get to do. Is Copperhead on one momentum? Holy shit. <laughs> That's not good. But we should have used Mitico in that show as well. But yeah, things like that. That'll, that'll be good for them. I mean, having Casey Glenn working those shows will also be good for them. He's starting to develop into the guy, like, this is about where he, where he hits his peak. I hope, I hope to God. <laughs> Please don't leave us. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, I'll be back if I decide to jump ships to Ollie. If I do, then I'll, I'll speak to you guys then.